completing the square when you have a number greater than 1 in front of x squared. So in this case we have a 2 in front of the x squared. So this is um, one way of doing it. I would consider just the first two terms and I would factorise out this number 2 like so. So we have 2x squared plus 4x and the minus 5 at the end would remain in place. I would then start to complete the square with this part here. So the 2 remains outside the bracket. We then complete the square with the x squared plus the 4x. So we write x plus 2 squared. So clearly we've halved this 4 to give us the plus 2. We then have to work out um, what's going to go after this. So if you think about what's going to happen in this bracket, we'll have x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Now the only crucial part of that is the numerical part, the number part at the end, the 2 multiplied by the 2, which will give us a 4. But we have to remember that this is also being multiplied by this 2 at the beginning. So this will actually give us an additional 8. We don't want that 8, so we have to subtract it at the end. But we also have to remember that there is a negative 5, which has been tracked down from previous lines. So in its fully completed square format, we have 2, bracket, x plus 2, all squared, take away 13 equals 0. We then have to solve the equation using this. So 2, bracket, x plus 2, all squared, equals 13. Make sure you then divide by 2, so x plus 2 all squared equals 13 over 2. I'm going to carry on up here. We then need to square root, so we have x plus 2 equals plus or minus root 13 over 2, and x then equals negative 2 plus or minus root 13 over 2. Here's the second example, this time a little bit trickier. We will factorise out the 5 from just these first two terms. So we have 5 bracket x squared plus 3 fifths x, staying in fractions. Take away 4 equals 0. Then, completing the square, we'll leave this 5 out at the front. In the brackets here, we'll have x plus... Now we need to halve 3 fifths, which gives us 3 tenths squared. Now when we expand this bracket, this will result in 3 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths, which is 9 over 100. But of course that's being multiplied by 5, which would give us... 9 over 20. So we have to make sure we subtract 9 twentieths and we also subtract 4, which is this original 4 from the first line. So we then have 5 bracket x plus 3 tenths all squared take away 4 and 9 twentieths which is equal to 0. So we then have 5x plus 3 tenths squared equals 4 and 9 twentieths. And what we're going to do is write the right-hand side, the 4 and the 9 twentieths, as a top-heavy or improper fraction, so this would be 89 over 20. Then x plus 3 tenths squared equals 89 over 20 divided by 5, which is 89 over 
100. x plus 3 tenths then equals plus or minus the square root of 89 over 100. And x then equals negative 3 tenths plus or minus root 89 over 100, which if you want to, you can write as negative 3 tenths plus or minus root 89 over 10.